and liftoff of NASA Crew-8. Go Falcon, go SpaceX, and go NASA. We begin this week on a launch pad from Cape Canaveral, Florida, where NASA and Boeing are getting ready for the first manned test of a new rocket designed to get astronauts and equipment to the International Space Station. That mission will feature NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, who will pilot aerospace giant Boeing's CST-100 capsule, more commonly known as Starliner. This spacecraft is awesome, right? I think in our office, people know that this one, there's, there's, there's a lot to know, there's a lot to do, there's a lot to be able to learn from the spacecraft. So I think if, if I was a young astronaut and I was thinking about going to the moon, I think I'd put my hand up and say, I want to fly Starliner. Starliner is scheduled for launch on Monday, May 6th, where if all goes according to plan, Wilmore and Williams will meet their ISS crewmates. Among them is NASA astronaut Jeanette Epps. The engineer, patent holder, and former CIA officer is spending about six months in space, making her the second black woman assigned to a long station mission. Before the flight, Epps said she's proud to be a role model for black girls, showing the dream of space flight is an option for them. NASA will live stream Monday's launch. Elsewhere in space, NASA was able to reconnect with an old friend who'd fallen out of touch since last November. NASA launched Voyager 1 in September 1977 to study our solar system. It spent years making discoveries like kinks in Saturn's rings and volcanoes on one of Jupiter's moons. But a bad computer chip late last year created what engineers described as a phone call where you can't hear the person on the other end. Through a marvel of modern technology, they were able to rearrange the coding on the 47-year-old craft from some 24 billion kilometers away on Earth. For context, it takes nearly two days to complete one such communication. Work remains underway to restore transmission of science data. Finally this week, it's the stuff of science fiction dreams or nightmares depending on the books you read. Its name is Spirit, and the four-legged robot is part of a project led by the University of Southern California with funding from NASA. The idea is to teach robots to sense subtle shifts in terrain like we do with our feet ahead of joint human and robot missions to space. The group behind Spirit has a two-year, $2 million grant to help NASA put teams of collaborating robots on the moon. Arash Basadi, VOA News.